Hidden away in the back streets of Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, the Eliava Bacteriophage Institute is alone in the world. It's dedicated to a forgotten arm of science. Our institute is unique not only for its character, for its work. Нет, оно является уникальным, потому что этот институт единственный был институт, который во всем мире, единственный институт, который занимался проблемами бактериофагии. Вот мы уже здесь более 80 лет работаем и развиваем те идеи, которые были заложены Ильяво и Дерелем. Канадский scientist Феликс Дерел first described bacteriophage in the 1920s at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. A bacteriophage is a virus which preys only on bacteria. Georgian scientist George Ilyava worked with Derel in Paris and later founded this institute in Tbilisi. While Eliava was arrested and executed by the KGB during a Stalinist purge in 1937, his institute remains and could now be at the forefront of the battle against super-resistant bacteria. Professor Amaran May Pariani has walked the corridors of the Eliava Institute for more than 40 years. If I say to you how many years, you will probably not believe it. Мне 77. Я еще могу работать. Я еще мыслю. Я еще активно действую. Так что э, это, наверное, заслуга бактериофана. The professor has dedicated his life to the study of bacteriophage. He's convinced that these viruses offer remarkable prospects. Наш 40-летний опыт, мой лично 40-летний опыт применения бактериофага с лечебной и профилактической целью, я в полной ответственности могу утверждать, что я не встречал ни одного случая осложнения или каких-либо побочных явлений бактериофага. Бактериофаг всегда действует, если он специфичный и подобран в отношении этого микроба, бактериофаг будет действовать на 100%. Бактериофаж have an impressive structure. The body of the virus consists of a head in which its DNA is stored. It has six legs which attach themselves to bacteria and a tail that works like a hypodermic syringe, inserting its genes deep within the bacteria. Once inside, the phage genes multiply and burst out of the bacteria, killing it. Only a specific type of phage will work against a particular bacteria. It's an ideal alternative treatment when antibiotics are failing. Мы не говорим, что антибиотик это нужно выбросить, это плохое. Нет, антибиотик чудесный препарат, очень хороший препарат, но существуют антибиотикорезистентные микробы. Что с ними делать, который катастрофически, катастрофически растет? Dr. Zemfira Alavidze is head of production at the Eliava Institute. I started here when I was in students from university and I am here for five years. I use phage preparation for my children, for my grandchildren. I never use antibiotics and any time I recommend it and other patients use phages. And a lot of many people come here and they tell us, help them. But uh, if our collection, if our preparation don't work against this bacteria, we can isolate new phages and we can do uh, new preparation for new patients. Using ancient equipment in primitive conditions, the scientists isolate new bacteriophage. It's a far cry from the Institute's heyday when technicians were manufacturing up to two tons of bacteriophage a day to distribute throughout the Soviet Union. 
But when Georgia suddenly gained independence just over a decade ago, the Institute's funding was abruptly terminated. It is a very difficult because sometimes we have not electricity, we have not uh, a salary, we have not uh, nothing, uh, and nutrition media and something, but uh, we have, uh, we love bacteriophages and <laughs> uh, we do everything for uh, safe these preparations. Of course I was shocked. I mean, the, the place, most of the windows were broken, they didn't have heat, the power was out a lot of the time. American scientist and self-confessed bacteriophage fanatic, Dr. Elizabeth Cutter, first came to Tbilisi in 1996. On the scientific grapevine, she'd heard about the wonderful work being done here. But so appalled was she at the working conditions, she decided to take the institute under her wing. They went through two and a half months where the institute had no electricity, even though the region did have electricity. So. Um, I started a nonprofit foundation called Sage Biotics, and we contributed a little to help with that. And we've, we're now supporting a total of seven young Georgian students to help bring new students into the field. And for $2,000, we're able to help um, with these students to, to be able to stay. But without the foreign grants, they can't begin to make a, a living wage. The Institute may be a shadow of its former self, but Dr. Cutter is determined that the knowledge gained here must be kept alive. This institute was the world leader. This was where most of the research happened and a lot of the production happened. And for example, the Central Ministry of Health required hospitals all over the former Soviet Union to send antibiotic resistant strains of various bacteria here. Применяли бактериофаг в закрытых учреждениях. Это детские ясли, детские сады, школы. В армейских учреждениях вся армия, вся армия принимала бактериофаг. Это в особенности летний сезон, когда кишечные инфекции очень бурно, бурно выходят наружу. Now here I am in beautiful Tbilisi, Georgia, and I'm getting bacteriophage therapy. And, the experience uh, learned from battling resistant bacterial infections across the Soviet in Union has attracted scores of desperate Western patients to Tbilisi. For many, it's been a resounding success. I brought with me a, th a man from Toronto who had had very severe osteomyelitis. Uh, which is an infection of the bone. He had had an incredibly badly smashed ankle and after four years still had holes in both sides of his ankle that were draining. And he came and they treated him over a period of about a week in the hospital, first washing it with liquid phages and then putting in pieces of this phage bioderm. They could stick it directly into his ankle. And they're using it in combination with all other available therapies. The Canadian patient recorded this video message. And I want to tell my friends back home who are waiting for this medicine to hang on. It's on its way. And uh, soon we'll all be enjoying the benefits of phage therapy. With such incredible healing properties, it's difficult to comprehend why the West isn't pouring money into bacteriophage research and development. But Dr. Cutter says scientific conservatism and a reluctance to invest in mass testing of phages has kept big pharmaceutical companies away. In the West, there was the feeling that phage had been proven not to work. But that wasn't true. It was actually just not proven to work. The other thing in terms of big, company, big companies, pharmaceutical companies, is that phage are quite specific. So they're specific not only to a particular bacterium, but to particular strains of that bacteria. So if you're talking about something where you're willing to have a lot of different phages and test them to be sure they work against that bacteria, it works very well. Phage Bioderm is the Institute's latest product and one which is rapidly gaining world attention. Bacteriophage are embedded in a thin polymer film 
which is placed directly in and around the wound. Over a period of days, armies of bacteriophage go on a bacteria-destroying rampage, clearing the most stubborn infections. Bioderm has been used on all manner of skin infections and ulcers where patients were often facing amputation, like this man being treated for a diabetes-related complication. But perhaps its most remarkable feature is in the treatment of burns. Burns are one of the hardest things, and when people die in the first few days after severe burns or radiation, a lot of that is from pseudomonas infections. And that's what this worked with. In a small room adjoining the institute, an old machine spits out bacteriophage tablets. This is the commercial arm of the institute, which they call Biofarm. When Georgia gained independence after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the desperate struggle to keep the institute afloat began. Leila Kalandarashvili is Biofarm's production manager. The company produces a range of practical phage preparations aimed at controlling Salmonella, E. coli, Staphylococcus and a variety of other bacteria. Layla's love of bacteriophage isn't based on money alone. She claims it saved her son's life. Layla's son Irakli was badly wounded while serving in the Georgian army during the civil war with Abkhazia in 1993. Although worldwide recognition of their efforts hasn't yet come, the scientists here are already working on urgent solutions to international problems. In the past few months, they've developed bacteriophage to combat anthrax, and they're working on creating solutions to protect animals and crops against bioterrorism. Scientists here hope that it won't be long before the rest of the world catches on. Intellectual potential уникальная коллекция бактериофагов у нас имеется. Мы высоко профессиональные и квалифицированные работники у нас. Так что мы можем все цело, все цело снабдить весь мир нашими знаниями, нашими опытами и нашим профессионализмом. Thank you.